hello friends today we are here with a new video and we will talk about the adrenal fatigue and i will explain you about my adrenal fatigue story so the first of all i will ask you to join the facebook group because you know many people comments on the different videos but the no one should answer you the same i should not answer you but you can join the facebook group and we can talk there are many things and i ask many people so they can join so we can make a conversation and help many people so first of all remember that adrenal fatigue is a very bad thing so i was also pre the adrenal fatigue uh, after some time or some year later my urine gravity was decreased so when you take dhea it can decrease your urine gravity but there's one thing if you have the weak urine stream due to the adrenal fatigue it can increase your urine stream or flow this is the advantage but remember it also have the disadvantage it can increase your aldosterone it mean you have the high sodium and low potassium but the same thing was happen how because i have done the 24 hour urine test that show me the high sodium and low potassium and also have the low chloride i will explain you later in this video remember when you have the high sodium it's mean you have the low potassium you can take potassium chloride that will decrease your sodium but there's another problem your chloride should be lower so what you should do because potassium chloride can also decrease your chloride so you can take uh, a little more salt and the things that contain like tomatoes to increase your chloride level another thing when you use the dhea it can cause the kidney problems how it can increase your sodium level and decrease your potassium level so what your kidney should do your kidney should balance these electrolyte and start storing the potassium and less secrete in the urine so what should happen after some years or month gradually your blood pressure should increase so i recommend do not use dhea another thing you have the good cholesterol hdl it can decrease your hdl before my hdl was increased but after using dhea it decrease my hdl because you are directly taking this hormone and this hormone is derived from the cholesterol so there's another benefit the dhea can decrease your hba1c this is the truth but it can also decrease your other good things i recommend you just once a week or two times a week just take 2 mg of dhea do not increase the dosage it is harmful it can create many problem and you will never know your kidney should be failure and remember it can also suppress your acth production your acth production should be lower because adrenal gland will not work because it is getting outside the dhea 
it is not producing its own DHEA so remember you can done 24 hour urine test electrolyte and you can see sodium potassium and chloride and other things and remember I want to discuss with you many many things and different things about the adrenal fatigue Cushing syndrome type 2 diabetic insulin resistance so my request is we also just comment on different video people did not explain the things in a good way I will explain you and we can help each other and create a good family of adrenal fatigue so guys you see the link below join our Facebook group for conversation I hope you like this video if you like please like share and subscribe and thanks for watching